when constructing a new home, restroom facilities must be provided for the people working on site. Portable restrooms provide a convenient and environmentally friendly solution. This video shows the construction of an area bed on-site sewage system for a newly constructed home. On this site, the location of the field bed does not allow for gravity feed and a pump is used to deliver effluent to the bed. The septic tank and pump chamber are installed and connected to the home. The installer verifies the boundaries of the lot and begins to clear the area for the bed. Cutting the trees close to the ground and removing the brush and stumps. The area bed is marked out in the proper location with the longer dimension running across the contour of the site. Material is excavated to the proper depth and length and width. The bottom and sides of the bed are raked to remove smearing. Seventy-five millimeter of filter sand is placed in the trench and raked level. A minimum of 125 millimeter of crushed rock is placed on top of the filter sand. Pipe is assembled on the top of the rock as required by the selection or design. For this installation, the header is a solid pipe, while the footer and connecting laterals are perforated pipe. The distribution pipes must be a minimum of 0.3 meters and a maximum of 1.5 meters from the wall of the excavation. The lateral pipes must be equally spaced with a maximum spacing of 3 meters between each lateral. The header pipe is connected to the perforated distribution pipes. Joints are glued for pressurized applications and a 13 mm vent hole should be drilled in the top of the distribution pipe at the end farthest from the connection point. The pipe is covered with 75 mm of crushed stone. The stone is covered with a barrier material If the field bed is located above the pump chamber, a siphon breaker is installed. The field bed is connected to the pump chamber. The pump chamber is connected to the septic tank and an approved effluent filter is installed at the outlet of the septic tank. The pump is installed in the pump chamber and on-off and alarm floats are set to proper levels. Visual and audible alarms are installed in the home and connected to the alarm float. The pump is connected to a receptacle according to the electrical code. Sealant is added to the conduit pipe 
to prevent gases from entering the home. Water is added to the pump chamber to test the operation of the floats and pump. After completing an inspection, the qualified person or engineer gives permission to cover. The bed is covered with excavated material or clean permeable local fill with any rocks greater than 75 millimeter removed. Final cover material and seed or sod is applied to the area of the bed to allow a sod or root zone to be established. A protective layer of straw may be applied. After the final inspection, the qualified person will complete the certificate of installation form, send copies to the approval holder, Nova Scotia Environment, the installer, and the building inspector. This will include a diagram of the system, which will show the location of all parts of the system and should be kept with a deed for future reference. The septic system is now ready for the homeowner to use. To make the system last as long as possible, the homeowner should take proper care of the system, including having the septic tank pumped every three to five years. More information on properly using an on-site sewage system can be found in the booklet, A Homeowner's Guide to Septic Systems.